I'd like you to meet 22-year-old Crystal from Augusta, Georgia. Crystal is here because today her sister Tracy is accusing her of sleeping with Tracy's ex-boyfriend. Now, Crystal, sisters are supposed to be able to trust each other, right? Did you sleep with your sister's ex-boyfriend? Yes, I did. But, but they were only telephone boyfriend and girlfriend, supposedly. Uh -huh. To my knowledge, they weren't really dating or anything serious like that. So I don't call that, you know, they were really boyfriend and girlfriend. So how could I have betrayed her trust by that? But did you know that your sister was interested in this guy? No, she never really said it. I mean, they were just friends over the telephone. I, you know, that's what I gathered from the whole situation. So you had no idea that she liked him? No. And how did you come to sleep with him? We, we were talking over the telephone. Yeah. We had become real good friends over the telephone. And uh, one day I got up the courage and I went and I saw him at his home and everything. And uh, he had been dating my cousin before, so I knew of him already. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. He was talking to your sister Tracy on the phone. Mm -hmm. Then he started talking to you on the phone. Mm -hmm. And he used to date your cousin. Yes. Well, she, she was she, like a good friend, but we all call each other cousins, so. Didn't that bother you to start talking? I mean, well, no, because I didn't expect anything to happen out of it. We were just good friends. Oh. So how did it, you all were just talking on the phone, and how did you all wind up in bed together? We, one day we went out, and um, I used to take him to work, and I used to help him find a job and everything. And uh, he took, and we went out to dinner, and he just whined and dined me, and I fell in love with him, and it happened. You fell in love with him? Yes. Now, how did you find, when did your sister confront you with the information that she felt you betrayed her? She never did. She never did? She just started treating me really bad and called me awful things, but she never, you know, told me what was bothering her. She always said that she didn't like him, so I didn't know what the problem was. Well, I, I, I can't believe that she never, she never told you this, and you never knew why she was so upset with you. Not so until just recently. So. Just recently? Yes. Well, we're really going to give her an opportunity to talk about it now. Tracy, come on out. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. Now, your sister says you never confronted her once you found out that she had slept with what you consider to be your boyfriend. You never confronted her? And yes, I did. And she, and when I was going off with my friends, mm -hmm. she used to call him on the telephone and lie to me and said that he called her and was asking for me and that he kept on begging to talk to her. And that was all lies That's when I asked true. him. She called, he called me every day wondering where she was. I kept telling him that I am not her telephone answer machine to stop calling. He kept calling, and we ended up just, I mean, talking about, you know, mutual things. And um, it, one thing led to another. I never called him. He gave me his telephone. I never returned it and everything. If you never returned it, how did he get, begin to talk to you, Crystal? Oh, because he called you, Tracy. If you, knew, if you knew that he was calling her, didn't you get even suspicious that maybe they had something going? He said going? there was nothing. There did you ask something. her? Oh, um, no, I didn't ask her. I asked him, and he said he never talked to her, that she was always calling his grandma's house. That's not true. That's and not true at all. And we're here for trust right now, and she's lying to y'all right now on national television. You're the liar, Tracy. Uh, who's the one that's got my watch that you stole from who's his grandmother's house stole? that he gave to who's me? Who's the one who Don't stole give me that. Don't give it. Don't give it. Pants. I don't even you had to buy so. him pants for work because he's too poor to buy so. him for sale. I don't even think so. If he needs a job, he needs to go out and buy his own pants. Not you need to go back he home. He used you for your money. That's all. The money that was supposed to support your son. No. But it didn't support your son. It supported... Oh, I'm the one that's supporting my son now. I'm the one that got out of the house and starting to do something for myself, not sitting up it with no like baby that I can't even son. take care of. It don't like you supporting yeah. your son sitting there doing drugs. Yeah, I'm the one that's on drugs. And showing yeah. your son gas and sitting there making your son say, I hate you. He tells me he hates me because y'all teach him that. You're the one, your son's Let the me. one that said he didn't want to live with you. Little yeah. You're the Ladies. One. Ladies.